do you want it done? What done? Wait a minute. People should not count my days. The United States said immediately, what are they trying to do? What do you mean, when do you want it done? Wait a minute. Can I? And this guy says, can I watch? What are they going to do? Me? Now, in my last video, we, we reacted to some of my most viral videos. Now, something that I was brought, I was told that I should have done is react to some of those comments, right? Because those comments in those videos are absolutely wild. That same night, I uploaded that video, right? My reacting to my most viral TikToks. I had a TikTok go viral. Uh, right now, it's sitting at 4.4 mil as I'm recording this, right? Dude, I just made this from freaking plastic, bro. Mate, you see this device behind me? It turns plastic into gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel. Paid over half a gallon of plastic diesel. Diesel I made from plastic waste. This is my plastic to fuel reactor. Now I've recently got in my unique design patent pending and I am in extravagant mental health. What's up? I just finished running my plastic to fuel reactor behind me here. Let's see some of the fuel I got out, yeah? Look at that. That's from plastic. This is real gasoline. This is plastiline. Gasoline I made from plastic waste. Plastiline! Gasoline made from plastic. Oh yeah, baby! I'm going to be running this engine here off of plastic diesel. Back to the future is now! So let's just click on that and see what the comments look like on that. Kind of give you a little litmus test strip. To see what I have to deal with cluttering my notifications. Has anybody seen about or heard about him? It's been a year now. I mean, I'm literally uploading onto the page, and you're saying, Has anybody seen from me? I haven't uploaded in a year when I just uploaded, and you're commenting on what I up. Okay, <clears throat> let's get on to. <laughs> oh, here we go. The United States of America is in my comment section. I. I hey, boys, we made it. Nigga, we made it. We made it. It's, it's official. The United States of America has a TikTok account. I didn't even know this. And then they took the time out of their day to be in my comment section and comment interesting. I'm flattered. I made it, honestly. And it has 28,000 likes, so it really has to be them, right? Oh, the CIA. When do you want it done? What done? Wait a minute. People are saying count my days. United States said immediately, what are they trying to do? What do you mean, when do you want it done? Wait a minute, can I, and this guy said, can I watch? What are they gonna do, me? What the, wait a minute. Look, I thought this was an achievement. The United States of America is in my comment section and they're talking about doing grotesque acts to me. And people wanna watch, people wanna be co by the United States government and the CIA. What is going on? Okay, we're going on to the next. <laughs> First of all, let me see. Right, let's see what the United States of America posts on their TikTok account. I'm interested. What is this? What is this? Bollocks! Posting Lego Batman. That's what you do with, with our tax money? That's what they do with our tax money. Okay. Clearly. Oh, oh, it's again. The United States of America. The, it's, it must be like, you know what I'm saying, like that. there's like multiple, because you know, America's united, so there's multiple United States. I get it. Very interesting, they say. Okay. And people are crying and putting all these faces, bro. I, they're as shocked as I am that the USA that himself, Miss America, is in my comment section right now. Okay, I'm shocked too. Julian Brown will live to be over 100 years old. Hey, that's pretty old, you know. I, hey, I'd be surprised if I live over that, over that long. I'm just gonna keep it real. Notice how he says he is in extravagant mental health. So if anything were to happen, everybody would know what's up. Hey, the truth of the matter is, I am in extravagant mental health. Keep it real. I think that's the first time I ever sitting on YouTube. But that is the truth of the matter, you know what I'm saying? Because let's be real, right? It takes a lot of energy to make content, it takes a lot of energy to make YouTube videos, it takes a lot of energy to make content, in, you know, of all types, and it takes a lot of energy to be real with it, you know what I'm saying? Not to be putting on a, a, a mask and trying to be like energetic or happy and stuff. So, you know, ultimately, where you get the energy from, from being in a good mental state. So that's why our sponsor today is nothing, because I don't have any sponsors. Okay, what else do we got here? 
Um, very, very supportive comments. Thank you all for that. I want, actually, you know what I want to find? I want to find a critiquing comment. Because if I can find a comment that critiques me, I can rebuttal it right now. The <laughs> intelligently. Oh, so that's what the FBI stands for. <laughs> intelligently. It's there in my comment section, too. <laughs> um, and they say, where are you at? Okay, so they, they want to know where I'm at. Maybe they're going to teach me how the, how the FBI, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, okay, so this guy has a question. Are the combustion products okay to breathe in? Well, you know what? You don't want to stick your face at the back of a car exhaust, right? Why? Because it's not just water vapor coming out. So no, it's not safe to breathe just like anything that burns is not safe to just stick your face in. But we can deodorize, we can clean up the fuel just like the, how they do with crude oil and gasoline and make it to where after your car combusts it and it comes out the catalytic converter, it's pretty much the same level of emissions. If you were to just burn, if everybody just burned gasoline just in a plate, Horrible NOx emissions, all these types of horrible things come. But how come when you burn it in your car engine, it passes the EPA? Because the car engine has all these sensors and computers to make sure it burns properly, then it has a catalytic converter to then deal with all that stuff afterwards. So this fuel is not is the same thing. Of course, when I'm burning it right there in the open, in a plate, in a weed whacker, it's not going to be the best emissions. Or even when you just are burning it to study the scientific emissions, it's not the same as if when you burn it into a proper engine, a modern engine, and then you have a catalytic converter, and then you also, before you even put it in the engine, you put it through the right catalytic processes to clean it up and remove as many of the impurities as possible. Because this is a, this literally comes from the same thing that gasoline comes from. That's why I want people to understand, right? Plastic is literally made of the same thing gasoline and diesel and all of our fuels that we use are made of. This is not a biodiesel. This is this is the same chemical constituents. So the same level of safety that gasoline and diesel is when it's burned from an engine is the same as the plastic will be. Because why? Coming right out of the reactor, yes, it is dirtier, but the whole point is, just like how they do in the plants, you use catalytic refinement, certain filters, all these technologies which already exist to clean it up to make it match the EPA requirements. So that is my uh, response to that because that's probably one of the most common questions. The emissions, the emissions, the emissions, the emissions, you know. Um, CO2 wise speaking, once again, it's the same thing. Same CO2, pretty much the same CO2 emissions, you know, that you can expect. Yes, it is a fossil fuel. Yes, there will be CO2 emissions, but let me say this, putting CO2 into the air is way better for the whole environment than leaving plastic out of the ocean. Why? Because at least CO2 in the air can be captured. At least it can be offset. At least we can do something about that. But if we have tons of plastic in our landfills, in our oceans, microplastics in our food, not only are we just wasting all that energy, but now there's a physical problem. Literally, our fish are physically being murked by the plastic content in the ocean. And then you're going to tell me that, that some CO2 is going to be the most of our concern here. Did you know that when plastic is left sat in the ocean, it actually releases worse greenhouse gases than CO2. It releases ethylene, for example. Research papers on that. So we're literally, you want to talk about emissions and greenhouse gases and, and the global warming. Well, we're literally causing the globe to warm by just leaving it there in the oceans and we're destroying our fish and we're destroying our algae and we're destroying our ecosystem and it's ugly and we're literally leaving billions of dollars just sat there. So honestly, that whole argument about the CO2 is, is the most, it just, it just doesn't add up. It doesn't make any sense and it never will. We're gonna, we're literally making value out of something that's just sat there in our oceans, not even supposed to be there to begin with. Okay, this is, a, this is the last comment we're gonna respond to. This is a good one right here. This is a good, um, a good true critique. You need to, you need fuel to power the machines. So 99% of the fuel you make will go to powering those machines. Good way to get rid of plastic though. Hey, that's very true. These machines do not, they, they drink. They drink some energy, all right? They, they do not come lightly. But even with my machine, at the small scale it was at, we calculated that through all three of the products, I got the input was 25 kilowatt hours, and between all three products, we got 48 kilowatt hours of electricity out. 
And that was at my scale, my inefficient handmade scale. So, look, I'm not speaking for all forms, but at the least, with microwave pyrolysis, we can make enough energy to not only run the machine, but still have some left over. Just imagine when this is scaled up and it's bigger and more efficient and the parts are all designed for it and we have computers which modulate everything. It's just like how engines, you know, here's the thing, pyrolysis is not new. We all know this, right? But just like how engines from way back then were not as efficient as engines are now, they got the whole start, stop, crap, all these sensors, all these computers, we're going to do the same with pyrolysis. And pyrolysis is going to be so efficient that you will make enough energy to run it and to have some left over. And I've already proven that at this small scale, so just wait till it's the larger scale. That's really what I have to say to that comment, because, you know, that's a real valid criticism, because for the longest time, that's why pyrolysis isn't as big as it is, because it costs, you know, you're literally putting more energy in than the energy you're getting out. But it's all about not only uh, the efficiency of the process, but also utilizing those pro those products you get out to the max. Because like I said, that 48 kilowatt hours we got out, that was from all three of the products combined. So you have to use all three of them. You have to use the, the gas, the oil, and the carbon, and extract the energy out of them to maximize your margins. So anyways, that's about it. If you guys like that, I, look, I have absolute, as you see here, we got 24,000 comments on this one video alone. I have quite a few viral videos, so if you guys like this, we definitely can react to tons more comments in the future. Because <laughs> this is just a snippet, trust me. Thank you for watching. Nature Jab out.